Hello, my name is Chris, and today we're going to take a quick look at how to display data with an organizational chart using Microsoft Excel. Before we start, a quick note about how I set up the data. In column A, we have all of the people's names with hyperlinks to their bio, just in case I want to learn more about them. In column B, I have the titles that these people hold within the company. In columns A and B, I've also included the names of the different departments within the company. Now, in my organizational chart, I want to have the name of the person on one line, followed by their title on the next. To do that, I'm going to combine the information in columns A and B, separated with a line break, which is represented by character close brackets 10. Okay, let's start building the organizational chart now. First, I'm going to select and copy all the data in column C, and then I'm going to go to the Insert tab on the menu bar, and click on this tiny little icon. It's for Smart Art Graphics. A drop-down menu will appear. Go down to the Hierarchy Charts. I think I'm going to choose a simple organizational chart. And just like that, Excel creates an organizational chart for you. But hey, there's no information in the chart. First, you need to go to the dialog box, and then select and delete all of the text inside of it. Next, you paste all of the information from column C. Now, Excel gives you a very flat organizational chart. All right, now I'm going to make the dialog box a little bigger so it's easier to work with. Then I'm going to select the second person in the list and push the blue arrow once, which means the Chief Operating Officer reports directly to the Chief Executive Officer. Under the Chief Operating Officer, there are the different departments in the company. First, there's the Marketing Department. I'm going to select it in the dialog box and push the blue arrow two times so it moves to the right of the Chief Operating Officer. Next, I'm going to select the different members of the Marketing Department and push the blue button three times so that they go under the Marketing Department. Now, my organization chart is starting to get some height. Next is the Engineering Department, which I will put under the Chief Operating Officer by pushing the blue button two times. Rather than moving each member one by one, I'm going to select all of the people in the Engineering Department by holding down on the Shift key while clicking on the first and last person in the team. Now I will move all of these people at the same time by clicking the blue arrow three times. I will repeat the same steps for the remaining departments until I get an organizational chart with the CEO on top followed by the COO and the five different departments and their respective people underneath. Now it's time to do some formatting. There are a number of different choices that you can explore in the Smart Art Design tab. I think I will keep things simple with a lighter blue box and black font. But I think I can do more with the colors to highlight the different levels in this company. This one's okay. Ooh, I like this one much better. Now I have an organizational chart that clearly shows the different roles, responsibilities, and relationships within this company.